say, what to say, what to think, what to do. Wow. I'm just here Sunday evening, a few days after the public execution of our brother George Floyd, after the protests in Minnesota, after the protests here in Seattle, after hearing brothers, sisters, from everyday life, from civic leaders to actors, from athletes, all black men, black women, people of color and supporters of people of color. After a family Zoom, where the whole, whole energy of the people, of our people, have joined in the frustration of race in America. Racism, race, inequality, hate, murder, execution, indifference, I'm here <laughs> feeling some kind of way, looking some kind of way and not really truly giving a damn. I turned on my camera and I just wanted to record how I feel, what I'm feeling. Wondering if I will publish it. Wonder if I'll be bold enough to put this on YouTube, you see. Miss D, a one of the YouTube creator, finds herself the human being, the black woman, sixty two years old, have lived some life and dealt with some things, but today. This Sunday evening, I sit here, lay here, didn't even get up to sit at my desk and make a proper video, didn't cover both my feet, just as raw as I can be right now, raw and okay, because I'm grappling in my soul, what do I do, how do I I receive what do I do to face tomorrow, Monday? Tomorrow will be June 1st, the beginning of a new month for what feels like will be a beginning of a new day. A new day, literally and figuratively, as my people will come out of this weekend. This weekend of riots and protests and frustration and cities burning and people's souls aching and hurting and mourning. And I'm looking to me, what do I do? What is my part in all this? Where do I go from here? This, this, the new day, the new beginning, the new reset is going to be different for us all. And I'm trying to sit here, my lonely one self, and figure out how do I walk. How do I make the moves necessary? How do I support? Because yes, I do support my brothers and sisters of color, of blackness. Let's, let's get it real straight for a minute. The black 
brothers and sisters that are hurting and have been violated once again. I stand. And as an elderly or older woman, I'm looking to myself, what is my part? What do I do? How do I support? Don't see me being able to do but so much protesting, so much marching, so much of the physical. I know it's going to come from my mental. And it's going to come in a form of support. I just watched a video where I was watching the brothers stand up, put what they had on the line. These were some athletes, some actors, um, a basketball player that I can't remember the young brother's name. And Jamie Foxx was there at that, that press conference, putting themselves out there to say, enough is enough. That is the chant of my soul. Enough is enough. But what I can gather since before I was born and definitely through all my childhood, through all my adulthood to this point, we people of color, we black people have been dealt injustice. Not equal justice, not justice at all and some of it has been very cruel we treat animals better than I've seen some of us treated and then we get to this the year 2020 the year of 2020 vision and what we're seeing is the real America being fully exposed white man his knee on a brother's neck to the point that the brother can't breathe to the point that the brother's calling for his mother I hear that man's cry still today mama mama can you imagine what that brother was going through his last moments here on the planet. Some man, some man that has such disdain, has such hate for him to take his privilege, put his knee on his neck to the point that he can't breathe. Not honor you saying, I can't breathe. To hear a grown man calling for his mother, knowing his death, his death was imminent. His life was fleeing out his body. His last words were calling out to his mother, but truly calling out to me, to all the mamas, to all the mothers here on the planet. And I, here I sit, a few days later, hurting. knowing that that was one of my children. Knowing that when any of my children cry out to me, all I want to do is be there. Wrap my arms around my child like, baby, I got you. My brother man was calling out to the mother in me, to the mother in you, to the mother of all of us, of us females that know what the role of a mama is. Truly, he, he called out to all of us human beings because we all take the maternal role when we see a brother taking his last breath. What an image. What a freaking image of a grown man, a big, strong, grown man laying on the ground and it boils down to another grown man with his knee on his neck, feeling right, feeling superior, and snuff out that life. And it's all okay. 
in some of their eyes. Definitely not mine. Not okay. Like you were trying to snuff out the life of all of us. And here I lay across my bed, struggling today. <laughs> struggling. Knowing we can't keep doing this. Not knowing what we're going to do, have to do. Grasping at every little bit. Grasping at the hope that this will unite us as people of color. That it, <laughs> y'all, people of color, if I'm gonna lay here on my bed, in my room, in my safe space, it has to come from the, from the soul's place in me. And so people of color doesn't work. You gave us the name black and I identify with black. So for, pe for black people, that have to deal with the emotion that is rising up in us. The rising up of knowing this is enough. We've had enough. What to do? Hmm. The brothers and sisters at the rally I just watched did lay out that we looking for justice. We're not looking for the just the one arrest of the one officer, the one with his foot on somebody's neck. We're looking for the rest of those officers that stood there, heard that man cry out, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, and do nothing. Can't tell me wearing a blue uniform, having a badge and a gun on your hip gives you the right to watch another man do that. Kill somebody that's on the ground with handcuffs on him. What's the purpose? Dealing with it. Processing. I'm struggling because this is real. This isn't just a YouTube video that floats by or something on Facebook that you watch a video and it's so sense, sense. I don't want to say sense. I want to say, um, I want to say teasing just uh, that, that those images that are stimulating that we watch for instant rush of uh, adrenaline or something but what we watched was a real murder a real murder that represent that in this country the united states of america can we say that and say that and know that to be true they talking about <laughs> we're gonna make america great again can we make america civil it ain't never been great it's only great if you're all about capitalism. Great if you're a white person. We just want a civilized America. A humane America. I ain't looking for America to be great again, because if that was great, <laughs> we were falling so short it don't even make sense. Today is a new day. I'm hoping when I wake up in the morning Monday that I see the president of the free world declare that it's going to be a free country. Declare that black people are people. Declare that black lives matter. Declare that no more in equal, unequal justice. Declare that there will be equal treatment of all of us. I don't even want a lecture even help them get to the point where they know what the hell we're talking about. Why do I have to sit here today and wonder, should I take the form of try to educate people, try to make people see me and mine 
as human beings. Man, that don't seem to be working. Shouldn't have ever been necessary. Do I want to shame people anymore? Don't seem like you can shame people into doing the right thing. To understanding just because my skin is dark and my hair is woolly. That don't make me less human. Tired of sifting through everything we have to sift through as a black woman. I guess, you know, I've been searching for a while. What should my YouTube channel be all about? I sit around and I craft and I paint and I do all those things. And I wanted to make a YouTube um, sta station channel about those things as if that was real. But what was bubbling up in me, I might need this station to be all about... Let's get to be in one with each other. Let's be real. The channel is about how to be real. Maybe I get on every day and make a video and show people today, this is what a real black woman looks like. You want me to vlog, go through a day of what my real life looks like as a black woman? Is that what it's gonna take to get us to a place where we're equal? Where you can understand that being a black woman this age and living in America, living underneath what is equal, that I can get to 62 years old and not have what it takes to go ahead and retire, live the rest of my days in peace. No, looks like my days of retirement are going to be lived out in how do I fight? How do I leave a mark for my brothers and sisters not to have to have too many doggone days when they're watching public executions of our men, of our boys, of now even our girls. I watched a video where I'm watching a cop punch girls, shoot girls, Sandra Bland dead. Really? This video may not make sense and it may not even get published because, you know, uh, those that uh, give us these platforms are the ones that really are controlling things. So y'all may never get to see this, but I guess this one's for me. This is me venting out my soul and trying to figure it out. I call this my video diary, and in the diary I'm saying today, dear diary, what the hell is going on? I'm tired. Enough is enough. I can't breathe. We want justice, no justice, no peace. All these tones ringing through my head, ringing through my soul, doggone it. I don't know that I want all that negativity ringing through my soul, but it's here. What's going on with you? What's ringing in your head? What's ringing in your soul? Would you even stop and look at this video? But this one ain't really for that. But I think I will post it because I want everybody to take a minute, slow it down. Let's check in, see what is real. We all witnessed that murder. We all are accountable for what happens next. I'm going to take my stand. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know I'm over here. I'm pondering and thinking and trying to figure out where's my part. Because like I say, we're all accountable. We all got to take a stand. Are you willing to take a stand? All lives do matter. Black lives are the ones that we're going to have to use as an example to get it made known. One race, human race. Shame on America. And it ain't even the people. It's the one little small fraction. They like to be known the 1%, the 2%, the 3%, the one little small fraction. Shame on you. How the hell you go to sleep at night, I don't know. 
why you can't get through your head that if you give justice and equality, our God given, you snatching from the creator, you crack snatching from the universe, if you just let go of that, life could be beautiful for all. Your greed, your hate, your insecurity, your privilege, looks like the end of the world will be the end of all that for you. Hope you can deal. Those people you thought were less, we'll get through this. Oh, because we've been used to dealing with some ugly, some hard, cold, ugly. I don't think you're so prepared. I say you have a chance. I say we all get together, learn the truth of what it is to be human beings here on the planet and get to getting the energy feel that is the higher power understanding that we are ready to live out our lives the way we were intended. A special beings, human beings, were intended to give glory to him, to it, to that that is. And we have fallen short, but I see a new day. Hope you do too. Still trying to figure it out. Dear Diary, I think I'm going to stop here. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, Diary. To my brothers and sisters that I'm allowing the pages of my diary to be so open. I hope when you take a peek, sneak peek into my diary, that you ask yourself some questions too. You can say, what's going on, what's going on? Because it's a lot. And the world is in a uproar. How are you going to walk through? What's your next step? How do you stand? What I do know it's those we call the millennials, those young babies, those young soldiers, those young warriors. I see them out there. They're saying enough is enough. They'll burn this monkey down. How are we going to help those babies understand? Yeah, we, got, we left you a mess. We got you in a mess. But we're here to support you. We're here to try to help get this thing straight. And it's going to take all us elders. All us people that's been on the planet for all these years we've been here making the mess that we make to get our babies right. We sit around, we talk about why are the kids committing suicide? Why are the kids angry? We know why. Look at George. The line's been drawn in the sand. That brother was crying for his mama and now mama's gonna answer. And we are the mamas. We're going to take our stand. I'll see you tomorrow, diary. I'm wishing peace to the earth. 